Hi guys and welcome to Detox Your Mind TV, it's Q&A Monday and today is part 2 episode of Banish Procrastination Forever. Samantha wrote in asking advice on how she can tackle this time wasting habit. So if you haven't yet seen episode 1, check out the link below and I'll see you on the flip side. Procrastination affects all of us. There are always going to be times in your life where you don't feel like doing something, yet you know you've just got to get it done. The resistance can be so strong that you do feel guilty and beat yourself up for avoiding the task and putting it off for weeks. Now the only difference between avoiding and resisting and procrastinating and completing and enjoying the task is your mindset and the way you approach it. Now, you may procrastinate, but might be wondering why we have to go to such lengths as to follow a process to overcome this resistance. Well, that all depends on the task. Say you need to do the washing or clean up after dinner, you're not going to want to do it. But even though you feel this resistance, you're going to push through anyway because it's only for a short time, regardless of the pain. What we want to focus on here is a method that enables you to overcome any task or any project that is long term or holds a lot of value for you without any resistance and no pain whatsoever. So let's explore the second method which will enable you to master productivity and overcome procrastination every single time. The principle is start with the end in mind. Now I learned this from Stephen Covey, the author of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Highly recommend, check it out. Here, Stephen says that this habit is based upon the principle that thought becomes things. First there is a mental creation and then what follows is the physical creation. So what you need to do is visualize the entire task played out all the way to completion, really focusing on the positive feelings you feel by having this task done and dusted. The key here is to put your attention on the end with a crystal clear vision in your mind of what the end looks like. Now what this will do is give you clarity and focus. Now the reason why many of us procrastinate is because one, we don't know what we want to do. We don't know the next steps and the, the process is really unclear. Or two, we know what we need to do but we feel overwhelmed because there is just too much to get through and we don't know where to start. By imagining the end and feeling that vision in your mind, you're telling your subconscious that you can do it and it will go about finding ways to make it happen. So let's explore step by step how you can implement this into your life. Step 1. Visualize the point of completion. Now this is what we spoke about. What you want to do is get a really clear image in your mind of the end result. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? Where are you? What are you doing? Who else is there? You really want to focus on these feelings of how effortless it was to get the task done or how relieved you are to finally get something complete that you've been putting off for weeks if not months. So get a piece of paper and at the very bottom write down these feelings. Is it happiness? Is it relief? Is it empowered? List them all at the bottom of the piece of paper. And then you want to note what resources did you tap into to make this happen? Was it courage? Was it a belief in yourself? Or perhaps it was the clarity and focus that came from making a plan. You also want to note down who else has benefited by you completing this task. Is someone waiting on it and they can now hand it over? Write all of this down at the bottom of the page and we'll move on to step two. Keeping that vision in mind, you want to work backwards in your mind what steps you took to make it happen. So what you need to do is list down the very final step you took before you completed the task. And then you want to write down what was the step before that. So working backwards in your mind, write down every single step you took all the way to the very first step. You now have a clear action plan in front of you to get your task done. You're feeling pumped and empowered because you know you can do it. So what are you waiting for? You can now take that first step. By working through this method, you remove the resistance, the pain and the overwhelm felt from procrastination. You develop a very clear action plan to move forward and you're feeling inspired and motivated to get it all done. Now, if you don't use this approach, you'll continue to have this conflict inside between really not wanting to get the task done and having to do it. By using the four step formula and beginning with the end in mind, you switch your perception to focus on the positive rather than the negative. You enjoy the task, 
you perform well, and you produce better quality results. It's a no-brainer. So guys, my shout out for today is this. Winging it doesn't work. Tasks are best approached proactively with a process and a can-do attitude. To enable you to easily implement this into your life, I've created a worksheet. That way, whenever you've got that big hairy task or project looming, you can now work through it easily and effortlessly. So I would love to hear what's worked for you. Do you come across procrastination quite a lot? And what have you done to overcome it? What's worked and what hasn't? Perhaps you've even tried the four-step formula we spoke about in the last episode. Leave your comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next week on Detox Your Mind TV.